trade that's hit U.S. market. The Dow down 4.5%. The S&P 500 down 4.5%. Russell 2000 small caps down negative 5.7. NASDAQ is down a whopping 6.3% since the new tariff call. What do we do? It's okay, guys. I already bought myself some silver a few weeks ago. Guys, guys, guys. Um, all these trade th uh, threats are hitting the U.S. market. So usually trade is supposed to be a net win for everybody, but um, that's economics 101. You trade stuff that your uh your country actually produces something let's say the u.s produces uh computers and construction equipment they ship it off to china china sends back goods that are they produce well so um there's supposed to be a net positive for what we send to them and net positive for what they send us and then it's a win-win situation that's what trade is but the problem with uh, the trade whole, this trade war is like we're saying that it's a net negative for the U.S. because China's been, uh, you know, hitting us with a lot of uh, uh, unfair trade agreements and stuff. That's basically the gist of it. Um, but uh, we've been trying to uh, argue for, you know, something more fair. And, uh, you know, to them, what's fair is different than what's fair to us. But anyways... What is it causing? It's call it causing fear and panic in the Dow and uh, the uh, S&P 500 and all this. But luckily I have this. It's a hedge against calamity and uh, downturns in the economy. Anyways, uh, let me go ahead and unbox this for you guys. Um, gold is more so a hedge and gold is a little bit uh, longer term um, has been used as a hedge against uh, calamity and stuff. But silver is too and silver is kind of like a little brother to gold. Uh, but silver is also more of an industrial. So what I've been noticing is as this whole Dow thing and NASDAQ and all these markets are going down because of the uh, trade war. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Beautiful green topics. Uh, American silver eagles. These are the most recognized silvers in my region, which is the U.S. So this is what I focus on. Um, I think I got these, uh, got a pretty good deal on these, actually. Uh, best deal I've seen in a while. That's why I want to throw this up really quick. This was from Silver Gold Bull. Silver Gold Bull is also the... Uh, and no, no, I am not sponsored, so don't worry about that. But that's Silver Gold Bull. They're the ones that also have this spot silver deal. They sell uh, a 10 ounce piece for uh, of silver for uh, uh, at spot, which is pretty good. Um, anyways, guys, got this. It's got its original tape. Uh, this was from the secondary market, supposedly, um, but it looks like it's already got its original tape, so I don't want to open it, but just trust me, guys. It's uh, American Silver Eagles, and I'm sure you guys have seen them before. Supposedly BU condition. It's got that uh, crest, the uh, United States uh, mint seal right there, crest. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Leave below. Is it is it okay to just open these? And I kind of don't want to because I know like new in box usually means better, uh, better uh, for selling and uh, you know retaining its uh, value. But um, anyways, guys, just want to do this really quick unboxing. And uh, this might seem a little boring to some people who you know collect kookaburras and things that are have a high premium. Um, some say this has a high premium, but I think I got this for a couple bucks over spot. It's a pretty good deal, it's a flash sale. They don't have these all the time, um, but when you can get these for about $2 over spot, it's a good time to buy, especially when spot is so low. Spot's very low right now. But I also wanna to mention to you guys one thing, and that is to remember to diversify your wealth. Um, if you're investing in silver, precious metals, and don't just have money in the bank, you're already ahead of, I'd say, 80% of Americans. Because I, I don't know where I've heard this, but I think the stat is that 60% of Americans have like only $500 in savings. So if you have a couple of these, these are 
a roll of 20 of these is about 330 to $370, maybe 400, depending on where you're buying. But um, you've already, if you got a couple of these, you're already ahead of the majority of people. But I will say this, you have to diversify into different assets. Silver, gold, precious metals, they do have bull runs. But right now they've been in bear markets for a while, which just means that they've been, you know, down and um, the, the price is very low. So you usually want to buy low, sell high, according to, you know, these guys who think they know a lot, like Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio, you know, uh, Bogle, these are these huge investors, actually. Um, they all say, you know, buy low, sell high. So you want to buy right now, now's a good time to buy. But that being said, you want to diversify into things that um, produce more income. Silver and gold will beat the dollar and will beat over long periods of times. A lot of different other types of savings, um, but they tend to not beat um, uh, stocks, equities, real estate, business, um, other investments that um, do produce dividends or uh, have a ROI return on investment. So I'm not saying that to bash silver and gold because that's what this channel is about, is precious metals. But I will say this. I have 55% of my, actually, this is my goals for 2019, going to 2019, but right now, I've got 80% of my wealth in real estate, 10% in cash, 8% in stocks and equities, which include US, uh, foreign developed markets, emerging markets, stuff like that. 1.5% in cryptocurrencies and only, well, now it's about 1% of my net wealth is in precious metals. So most of it's in real estate which is a little too high and heavy. But that being said, I know real estate really well, so I, I tend to focus on that. So what I would suggest, guys, is you diversify and do a bunch of different things. You can have like 10% in precious metals, 5, 10% in bonds, 30% in stocks, maybe 20% or 10% in real estate, or you could have a REIT, a R-E-I-T, which is a way to invest in real estate without getting your hands dirty like mine are. And then like maybe 8% in cash that you can have to buy during a low. And this is kind of my portfolio right now because I feel like we are near the end of a cycle, uh, economic cycle, and we're likely gonna have a downturn. Therefore, I wanna have more cash on hand. I know a lot of you say don't carry cash, only have precious metals, but cash is what you want during a recession because cash is king during a recession. I know the dollars, you know, at some point the dollar will likely collapse. We don't know because they could just keep printing money for 200 years. But if they do, if it does crash, I have this. But uh, if it doesn't, this will also go up, likely. I'm not saying for sure because nobody can predict this stuff. But um, the reason why I have this sort of allocation is uh, bonds tend to go up during recessions. Um, Precious metal, especially gold, goes up during recession. Silver might actually stay the same or it could go up a lot, um, but the timing is off. It's hard to time. These. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna peace out. Um, make sure to hedge with silver, gold, precious metals. And if you're only in on silver, gold, precious metals, I do recommend you diversify. Um, but diversify smart buy things that are defensive stocks value stocks with less risk you know the coca-colas of the world that sort of thing not saying anything negative about silver or gold precious metals but i just would not put all of my wealth in it um this is basically the way i am diversifying and even within my precious metals i diversify 40 percent silver 30 percent gold based on value and then 30 percent etfs which are like GLD and SLV. Uh, GLDM is actually a better one, GLDM. So that way you can trade within your IRAs or your 401ks without tax. Because if you just buy the physical stuff and you sell it, you're supposed to get taxed on it. So that's another thing. Fuck taxes. All right, guys. Metal boom.